Welcome to Dam Engineering Channel. In this video, we will learn about doing slope stability in slide software. Slide software is an easy tool to do the slope stabilities. The problem statement given here. We will analyze the slope with given dimensions. In many softwares, geometry creation is first input and it is the time-taking step. Geometry is created in multiple ways. Directly importing from AutoCAD is also possible. For simple geometries, coordinates are worked out as shown here and are typed manually in software for geometry creation. In most of the softwares, steps are common. First is to create geometry. Second is creation of material properties. Then assigning material properties to respective zones. If mesh is there, then creation of mesh of suitable size. Creation of boundary conditions, creation of load conditions and finally solving the problem. In slide, the method is limit equilibrium method. In this method, slip circles are generated and factor of safety is calculated for critical slip circles. In this tutorial, we'll try to solve the above problem for its factor of safety with the given dimensions of slope and material properties. This how the slide software interface looks like this. This is old version. But in new versions also, options mostly are similar. In the toolbar, we can see many options which we can do in sequence as per our analysis. Under boundary, we have to add external boundary. Water table, piezometric lines are available under this tab. Under loading tab, we can add different loads. We can use line loads, distributed loads and so on. We can add slope supports such as anchors from supports tab. Under properties tab, we can add different materials along with their properties. We can use as many different materials. Supports properties also can be added or modified here. Under project settings, we have project settings, compute tab and interpret options. All these are essentially required. In project settings, we can see many options such as methods, groundwater, advanced and so on. Under each option further options are there to select as per our requirement. In general option, we can change units, time unit. Further, we can change the direction of slope failure. Failure direction has to be specified before any analysis based on our slope analysis. In this problem, we are using the geometry which will have slope failure from left to right. In groundwater tab, options like using from piezometric lines or FEA that is using seepage analysis options are selected. Fee is means software does seepage analysis. Transient analysis is used for variation of water level over the time such as drawdown conditions from one level to other level. Various options under advanced also are required to check as per analysis. LEM methods such as Bishop, Janbu can be checked. Other methods are also can be used. We have added Morgenstein method here. First step is to draw geometry. In this software, first we have to add external boundary. Further material or zone classification can be done within this external zone accordingly. Geometry can be imported from AutoCAD also using DXF files. Complicated geometries it's better to import like this. Let us start drawing our model using coordinates. We can see our inputs at right corner box. After clicking add external boundary, it will ask for points. We can give coordinates as per our model. Undo option is also there. We can draw in any direction as we are giving point coordinates, it will show the lines simultaneously. When the geometry is closed, it will form a closed region. That means region has been created. By default, model shows first material property. This can be changed or assigned accordingly.
In the Boundaries tab, we can add water table also as per our requirement. Just showing how to use this water table tab in this model. Not using in the present analysis. Boundaries such as regions, water tables can be deleted by right clicking as shown. We can modify the main external boundary also. Right click on the boundary gives options such as edit coordinates. In the edit coordinates tab, we can insert rows and delete rows. Further, we can modify the coordinates also. In the Material tab, we have to add our desired material properties. We can see here, we can add many materials as in reality also, existence of homogeneous material is impossible. Based on investigations, we have to identify different materials and their properties. We have different material models also such more Coulomb, Hook Brown and so on. Input the properties and we can see our model will reflect them when the cursor is taken to those regions. Next step is to identify the slip circle's range. Software automatically finds circle's center point along with radius for each slip circle. For this we have to add auto grid based on our input grid size. Further, we can modify search area, extend and modify so on. Next step is to compute. Once it completes the computation we can go for interpretation of results. This will open in new tab. Modeling is separate tab and interpretation is in different tab. It indicates minimum factor of safety. Here we got 0.488 that means slope will fail. We generally require factor of safety more than 1.5. Here we can search for query for different factor of safety. Under data tab, we can see minimum slip surfaces, total surfaces and we can see their factor of safety. We can add filter also to check for desired factor of safety out of the computed results. Like this we will do the slope stability analysis by modifying the material properties. For slopes to be stable we consider factor of safety more than 1.5. If the given material properties are not satisfying we have to design for support measures.